This video shows the abdominal and chest portions of a transhiatal esophagectomy performed using thoracoscopy and laparoscopy. The patient is an 84-year-old male with a malignant stricture of the lower esophagus. Biopsy shows an adenocarcinoma. Endoscopic ultrasound shows a T2 or early T3 N0 lesion. The video has been edited to show the important steps of the operation. Three hours and 51 minutes of video has been edited to 16 minutes. The playback speed of the clip has been increased to two times the recording speed. The only open portion of the operation in the neck is not shown in this video. The final pathology showed a T3 lesion with 11 of 12 lymph nodes positive for metastatic cancer. The video demonstrates the excellent exposure of the esophagus that can be achieved by placing the patient in a prone position. This position allows a safe and more precise dissection of the esophagus. The operation begins with the patient in the prone position. Trocars have been placed in the right lateral and posterior positions. Here, a dilated esophagus is seen between the spine and the lung. The azygous vein is dissected circumferentially and then divided with an endogia stapler. The inferior pulmonary ligament is taken down. The mid portion of the esophagus away from the pathology is dissected away from the pericardium. The upper esophagus is dissected circumferentially away from the posterior membranous portion of the trachea. This dissection is completed in the apex of the thorax. The lower esophagus is dissected in the region of the primary tumor. Good access and excellent visibility allow adjacent lymph nodes to be included with the specimen.
The thoracic portion of the operation is complete. The patient is placed supine. The abdominal operation begins by dividing the gastrocolic ligaments. The lesser sac is entered. The short gastric arteries are divided. The greater curvature dissection is completed near the diaphragm. The gastrohepatic ligament is divided. The esophageal hiatus is exposed by incising the overlying peritoneum. The left gastric artery has been exposed within the lesser sac and is divided with an endogia vascular stapler. A generous coker maneuver is performed. The very distal esophagus is dissected circumferentially through an enlarged hiatus. In preparation for dividing the stomach, the gastric wall is exposed on the lesser curvature. The stomach is divided well below the tumor with an endogia stapler. The long axis of the stomach is preserved. Each cut margin of the stomach is sutured to one of the two ends of a one inch Penrose drain. The cervical esophagus has been dissected. The stomach can now be pulled up through the hiatus and the chest into the neck. The anastomosis of the stomach to the cervical esophagus is then performed in an open fashion through the neck incision. A feeding tube is placed laparoscopically in the proximal jejunum. The feeding tube and its Witzel tunnel are anchored to the anterior abdominal wall in two places. The resected specimen has been opened by the pathologist. Its proximal and distal margins, as well as the area of stricturing by the cancer, are indicated.